What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So, you know, leading up to this Nationals, uh, of course earlier this year, you know, I've been playing online, I've been playing a lot on PSN and stuff, but once the Dragon Ball Fighters National Championships, I shouldn't say got announced, like once I found out about it and they invited me, uh, I made a list of things I wanted to do to get ready, and one of them was to start playing again offline, because actually people in my region have been playing offline safely of course like they've been quarantining and just like playing with uh each other so one of like the major things i did to start getting ready for his tournament was playing offline again so here uh i'm at a session this is like right before i played nitro uh with red tack and v sage new jersey sage sage 908 um sage 908 plays uh he plays Kibu UI. A lot of you hate that. It's a kind of meta right now. It's like the new adult Goha and Kid Buu to me. But I also think it's a pretty important team to play against. It says a lot about what is going on in the game right now. So also, Vsage has always played uh, Kid Buu Trunks, basically. Since the game has come out, he's played this shell. Um, I guess since Bardock came out, because he was playing Kid Buu, Bardock Trunks. That's a team he used for like almost three years. So knowing how to play against UI is like really, really, really exceptionally important. Um, and in the East Coast League specifically, there are a bunch, of, maybe like half the people or maybe like five people in the league have at least a UI if they're not maining him. So uh, there were a lot of problems I want to solve as far as the character goes between like his solo pressure, uh, how to deal with his reversals, which Goatink's pretty good at, um, how to deal with him in neutral, there's a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I got rid of him pretty quickly this time. Thankfully, Gotenks, like, the last problem for Gotenks was what to do about the reversal flip. Because you have to remember that if the opponent gets past your Ghosts, Ghost Oki's over. And UI is actually pretty good at it. So if you try to call the, uh, the flip too hard, then you're not going to get anything. But if you try to look for other stuff, then he's going to do the flip. It's kind of hard. But I think I have a pretty good solution that you saw a little earlier. This game, I'm kind of speedrunning right now. He's been, he's been like my best practice against this too. Like the, the first time I played against V Sage offline after not playing him for four months, honestly, he fucked me up UI so bad. I went home being like, just what did I just, what just happened today? Like, what's going on? Okay, here we got Trunks. Unfortunately, he whiffed because of Roshi. I'm gonna go in. Nice little combo. Nice little easy combo. Even though it looks kind of saucy, you know. Ah, he got me. Woo. Trunks comebacks can happen. He doesn't have spark here, but like, you know, it could happen. It could happen. Oh my god. He messed up. Look at all that blue life. Look at all that yummy blue life. Oh no, I actually let him get it. Oh no. Nice. Nice, com nice, nice, nice. It's all good though. I feel so comfortable here because I have such a big lead. Broly vs. Trunks is not the most fun. Trunks, uh, you can see him using the tactic I was talking about the other day about on Broly, uh, where you use a dash slide. It really does be his job. It's pretty hard to deal with. I have to pick like different moves. Like I have to use tackle. I have to use razor blow. I have to use two L, uh, which makes it easier for him to jump. Anyway, this game's about to be over because of the spark. Level three. And he's out of here. I am going to say in advance, this was not from my stream. It's from uh, my homie, Tax Stream. He plays Blue Vegeta. I post some of his matches here sometimes when I go over there. Uh, so just give some love. I have his links in the description. Uh, I can't do too much to control the quality, though, unfortunately. So th this is like 720p in the recording, but like it's still kind of like not the best recording of all time. We do what we can. Anyway, this point war is pretty, pretty rough. Uh, you might notice if you've watched VSH play a lot that he usually uses Trunks uh, CTF. But this week he's using uh, Trunks Beam, the Masenko assist. Uh, a little bit to help me out because uh, it was part, like, oh, Nitro plays, uh, what? Kid Buu, UI with Beam, and Kefla A, so like a Beam Link. But also partly because he wants uh, more variety of stuff that he plays with his team. So of course he's way, way, way more used to playing with the CT Ephesus. He's been using it for literally a couple years now. Uh, when, he's, when he's running the shell with uh, the CTF assist, it is pretty scrambly in the point war. It's kind of rough. He gets to play really fast. He gets to play really explosive in the mid-range. With a beam, uh, the neutral control is more stable. But uh, I actually feel like I get to play at a pace that's more comfortable for me. 
That being said, he stomps my dome with the 6M. I thought he dropped that combo. UI, UI is this combo is always look like they're gonna drop. You know, people do like crazy shit for uh, frame kills or timing because you have so much hit stun to play with. I'm surprised he didn't spread the extra. Maybe he couldn't. Uh, I mean, I guess I wasn't gonna die. Spark bait. He's, he wants my spark really bad. Roshi! Yes, sir. Roshi always got my back. Into aerial. Into... Yeah, I should DHC. The nice thing here is that, like... You know, a couple weeks ago, I probably just did Ghost anyway, but again, UI is pretty good against Ghost, and uh, because of Roshi, Broly synergy, I get a really good anti-UI setup, which I do here. He reflects, I wait. Happy birthday, but we can't do that much with it. Or maybe we could have done more of this? Maybe we could have done more of this. Anyway, first character down. Here comes Kibu. The Kibu Beam, the classic. You have not played Dragon Ball unless you've played against this type of shell. Okay, power up. This just makes it really hard. Like, you just can't see what's going on. Um, it's something I learned from Cool Kid. I'm trying to use it a little bit more. Uh, you can't see what's going on. You're plus anyway. It's kind of, like, spooky. So because of that, though, the way this game went, I would have a huge, huge, huge lead. I still have Spark, too, and my whole team. Playing hyper-powerful Broly. It's kind of rough against Trunks. Ooh, that was a nice IED. Unfortunately, you can't like really sit back against Trunks. He's really mobile. He's really good at varying his movement. He can definitely get in. Oh, he tried to smoke my Dragon Rush tech with level three. You got to do it at least once a day. That was that was always my rule. I was like, I'll go for something like that like once every couple of days or something, because it's such a big call out. Nice, he blocked a cross up. I'm bad at blocking those cross ups with the corner space. Okay. I think it's level 3 here. Yeah. Oh my god, he was just short. Oh, game. Broly. Easy combo today. Keep it simple. Yep. Into grab, into one. Yes. My friend. I actually forget if we were playing to like a set. Like, usually we have set counts, but uh, on this day, uh, they just had like matches going. So, okay, dropped the 2H combo. We still took like 45%. Not so bad. Gold Tanks is like, uh, I was saying it before, but he's like one of the only characters I spend time practicing combos once I learn them, like continuing to practice them. Oh, that could have been a huge starter. Okay, he just shout cancel. I'm trying to imp implement some of uh, Gold Tanks' other options in his game. His, uh, his pressure is actually really straightforward if you don't use all the stuff he has. So I want to make it a little bit harder for people to like deal with my stuff. Oh my god, we just barely got out of there. Okay, chasing him down. Reflect, he gets mad meter when you reflect hand, so it's really worth going for. Okay, just peeling off. He saw a spark. Uh, I don't know what, why I sparked, actually. <laughs> Here comes Trunks, I go for the chase. He gets a tag. Okay. I'm trying to pay attention to people tags a little bit more, uh, too. I was, uh, I've been thinking, I mentioned on Twitter the other day, uh, I, I know a lot of people who've been watching the Nationals are like, your health manager's bad, but I'm gonna keep it real. I think tag is shit. Like, I think it's not only like a shit mechanic, like a terrible, terrible, terrible fighting game mechanic. I hate how you can heal life in the game in general. Uh, but also, at, in like high level competitive play, people look for it pretty hard because they understand like how much it affects the game. Uh, my last team at the end had uh, a lot of ways to actually swap characters out safely. Like, I had like safe supers and stuff I can do to get characters out safely. Um, Master Roshi on this team actually has, between like just calling his assist and tagging, like making someone block his assist and tagging, uh, and uh, his auto combo leads into safe tag. Um, those are the main ways my team can do it safely. Uh, I gotta think of like other ways like it, like I, this, this is not even disrespect like people who are like casual at the game or even like mid-level at the game are like bro you should tag bro you gotta tag bro but like it's really hard to get a strong player to actually get a tag like a tag successfully and then when you tag you have to deal with the post super dash situation and most of the characters I've been playing uh, this season they don't have especially good situations when they make the opponent block a super dash. So like, I'm really discouraged from doing it. But 
I feel like, especially from watching this week's, I was like, yeah, I guess like there's some spots where I'm like, I'm, I really should try. I really, really, really should try to do it somehow. It, it just, as usual with this game, it's like there's always some like major downside. Like people in this game, it's pretty common where they're like, you got to do like this thing, but like this thing they're talking about is like the risk of return is kind of crazy, and if you're wrong, you're gonna die. So it's like, uh, when I was like fixing my game, like part of the things that helped me a lot was like to stop doing those things. But I think tag specifically is one where it's like you kind of have to at least go for it one time, especially with, like the way my team is, where like uh, I think another comment was made where like some people are like, oh, your team falls apart where Gotenks dies, right? Uh, I actually disagree now. I used to kind of be like, yeah, my team's kind of fucked if Gotenks dies, but the structure of the team now. Um, I think that if Gotenks dies, Roshi coming in with some bars is pretty good because he does a lot of damage. He has good offense, he has good mix ups, his neutral is good. Um, and then of course, I have Anchor Broly as well. But if I kill you, Gotenks, I bring Broly, and then Broly is super powerful. So I think the structure of the team is actually pretty good. It, it does come to sometimes though, where like I gotta find a way to get Gotenks out sometimes safely, besides like killing, you know? Uh, there is a case I talked about I think last week where my team is not Like the DHC synergy is not the best mid-screen So like sometimes I have to keep Gotenks in after kills, but it's again it's something I that I really really have in mind So like it, for example this game this game has basically been all Roshi Broly I, I don't remember the beginning of the game because I was like popping off about tag, but uh, The majority of this game I believe I was down in this game and this has all been Roshi Broly just running the, the show but something that's really, really uh, big in my head, um, like, I, it's, it's one of those, it's hard to do. The game tries to tell you, in my opinion, the game tries to tell you to do a lot of risky shit, right? And you don't really want to do it, really. Like, if you, if you listen to what the game tells you to do, you're going to feel, like, inconsistent. Like, uh, like guessing really hard after 6Ms, guessing really hard after Vanishes, guessing really hard in Pressure. I don't, I don't think you're going to be very consistent. Uh, or guessing really hard on knockdowns. I don't think you're gonna be really consistent. I, I think it helped me out a lot to like just You know, and, and I, I'd say this like maybe like I don't know once every few months when uh, I post a good old how does Goichi do it defense video. It's like you really just chill Relax, it's not that serious and then like once you see shit happen a few times you make a choice and the game is actually is really nice about letting you do that uh, the way everything's set up uh, but tag specifically, tag specifically, it's one of those where I feel like you have to do it, you know? But it's just like, when you do it, it's like stupid dashing. Like, why don't people super dash? This is probably a really good example. Why don't people super dash so much at higher levels? One, because people are looking for super dash really often. But two, if your super dash is not successful, uh, it then depends on what is your character's post super dash situation. Because not all characters super dashes are distributed equally right so a character like kid boo has an exceptionally good super dash because he has ex ball he has key blast he has stuff that can like force you to guess when he makes you block super dash but characters like uh, on my last team for instance base regina his super dash situation is not that great like he doesn't really have good options after his buttons are kind of stubby so it's kind of a struggle so that extends to tag as well right so when tag is a super dash straight up so when you tag and they block your tag, if you don't hit them with tag, you have to deal with the situation following up. And uh, I think that's been one of the main things that has been discouraging me from using tag so much. Anyway, back to the games. That was a lot to talk about just from like one time where Gotex was about to die and I didn't tag him. Uh, we're, we're still in this. The Kid Boo Trunks. It's definitely weird to use a beam assist when you haven't been using one. Like, I think uh, Vsage has only just started using it like one or two weeks ago. So, it, it's definitely weird to hear like people like me be like, it's the best type of assist in the game, which it is the best type of assist in the game. But then, like, if you're not used to using it, you're not really like, you're like, yeah, this is cool, but like, I don't get the hype basically compared to like other stuff, you know? But you can see it already, it's so blatant with Kibu too. Like Kibu Beam is like one of the easiest applications of beams that exists. You just toss that 2S, you call the beam, it's nice and easy. He still kinda he still sorta plays like he's uh using CTF. 
The main thing, the main thing about the horizontal beam versus like, because I'm sure I'm I'm ready for it too. People are gonna be like, what about GT? What about UIA? So like, these are all really really good assists, right? But beam is so prevalent, it helps everybody. They're really easy to use. It clears the screen. It goes further than the screen. Uh, and there's only really one way to get around it where you have to jump. Like when you talk about GT, GT has two spots on the screen where you can get away from it. For instance, you can stay on the ground or you can go over it, right? Beam, there's only one spot. Things like Roshi, Roshi, you could run away from it. UI, you could run away from it. Kid Buu A is a block serving assist, so they have to get in. All these assists that people say are like, oh my god, this is the best. They actually have like a couple of little downsides compared to Beams, where like Beam really, the only real thing that beats it is like stuff that's straight up projectile invo, like Broly Barrier, and just jumping above it. And you're supposed to use air tools in combination with it to bring people to the ground. It's incredibly strong. Please understand. Please understand. GT is mad good, but I mean, you. You can, you can not jump. Like, I know Dragon Ball wants you to jump. I get it. I get it. Oh, he didn't react in time. He's technically plus there. It's just kind of hard to react. Not a lot of hit stop to work with there. Solo Roshi? Level 3. Roshi doesn't really have like a 50 50 off this. Instead, he has like a lot of varying options you can use where you uh, establish based off like the safe jump because he has a safe jump he can do. So like there, for instance, uh, I did like jump H and then four super dash, right? Um, and he tried to tech a dragon rush. So he has a lot of stuff like that. Oh, nice. Oh no, he dropped a combo. Not like this. Okay, kind of trying to keep it clean here. It's also, again, really nice to play against Vsage because he's like one of my main training partners in the game. So again, he knows all my shit. Oos, that's anti. I'm trying to use his anti beam, anti key blast. Gonna close it. Put him in the jar. Mafuba. Oh, he didn't die. Oh my god, I didn't get the damage buff. That feel one. So yeah, uh, all in all though, I'm definitely feeling pretty good about this team. Uh, it it actually feels like, as far as nationals go, on the week on the weeks like I win, people are like, oh my god, your team's OD. And on the weeks that I lose, people are like, hey, do you think Roshi's holding you back? And my answer to do I think Roshi's holding me back is no, I'm not gonna. F I'm, I think he's fine. I'm not gonna switch characters. Stop fucking telling me to switch characters. All I do is switch characters. This shit does not. Like, I'm just not doing it, bro. I'm fucking done, bro. I'm done switching characters. Stop. Stop. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna switch. Why don't you play UI? I don't want to. That's the answer. Boom. Boom. Boom shakalaka, right? If I thought this team was bad, I would have thought. I would have switched like two months ago, honestly. <laughs> Before the tournament. I'm just. We're just gonna commit. We build the team through the tournament. Each week we learn something new. We try to build up the team and also figure out what things we can do to beat our opponents every week. That's all. That's all we will do. We will not think about switching Roshi for UI. We will not think about switching to any fucking character. I'm done with that shit this season. I'm done with that shit in this game in general. The next time we'll think about switching teams is when they drop a character balance patch. A significant one, not like a baby one. You know, not like a change one or two things about characters, but like we're drastically changing all the characters. That will be the next time. Ooh, nice. He that was really good on him. I, I actually like this build. Uh, by the way, it's it's something I wanted. This the team that uh Vsage is playing is a combination of like Kibu UI. I've been talking about a lot, especially in like UI videos I posted recently, where if you're losing to the the team, then it's really bad because you have the DP assist. Then he has Kid Buu plus UI, so he gets the game ending 50-50, stuff like that. Uh, but then he also has DP with Trunks, and DP with Trunks is... I The more I think about it, the more I really, really like it. I'm surprised I haven't used it before. Uh, because it lets you move more freely than normal. Okay. Hit that boy with the cane, bro. Oh, he tried to... Oh, he tried to 4-frame, yes. He tried to 4-frame. Gonna do a simple combo... Just kidding. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it. I've been thinking I gotta do it the way. Uh, this was okay. I... This was actually a really good choice. Wow, good job, me. That was a really, really good choice. The game is over. <laughs> um, yeah, I th I'm thinking about doing that BNB the way JP players do it, uh, like Kaz, and just do the 2H so I never have to worry about aiming my super dash at all. 
I guess this is probably the, the last match of the day. I think we played a little bit more than this. I just don't want the video to go on too long. Ooh, Roshi. I think that was an accident. He doesn't have a easy tag off. And I remember before they gave you the options to mess with tags, like how you tag. I used to get so many accidental tags with Trunks trying to do like flip plus assist. Got him. Into combo. Uh, I don't think he's dead, actually. No, not I didn't cross the, the damage threshold to kill off the beginning of the game. You have to do like uh like thirty-eight percent, something like that, to actually get a kill situation. Okay. My boy Roche. This kinda sucks though, because this is his beam assist that's in. So he he went from like accidental tag, spark to protect, uh, protect trunks. Now he has to block Ghost Oki again. He's got two bars. Reflect. Goodbye. Yeah. That sucks. He still has this really strong shell, but uh, since he has UI, Kibu, like this, and he's behind, so he has to worry about my Roshi, everything I do is really scary for him because now, look at all this bar I'm about to get. It should reach. Yes, okay. Should reach. And two ghosts. Will he do? Okay. Pick my anti UI. Please don't kill me. Oh, I said, please don't kill me. He's like trying to kill me. <laughs> Yeah, I have a couple of solutions to UI now. At this point, I think I have like three ghost setups I'm using. Uh, again, uh, people ask this every video where there's me playing Go Tanks. If you, I haven't made a guide myself yet, but you should really, really. I feel like I'm his biggest fucking. I'm like his manager right now. I keep, <laughs> I keep recommending people to watch Subatomic Sabers video because it is a really, really good video. Uh, a series of videos actually. It's three videos. I watched all of them. It's how I learned how to do ghosts uh, originally. Before I was like, okay, now we need to like alter it a little bit for my own purposes. But it's a very, very good, very, very thorough guide on Ghost Oki. Uh, cool Kid also has a video on Ghost Oki. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, he's been playing Go Tanks in season one also, so uh, he definitely has a lot to add to that. Okay, get the nice little extension here. I'm gonna bring in Broly. Roshi is straight up the cleanup crew on this team, like real talk. Like when Gotenks dies, I, I used to like be pretty stressed when Gotenks died, but like I'm not really stressed anymore by Gotenks dying, like at all. Okay. Okay, boo. Oh my god, what a beam. Okay, he gets a simple down. Oh, he messed up. That was. Oh my god, and that hit from really far. He could have ended my life, too, actually, because. Uh, as I said before, you can like go under that jab, and Kibu of course has a stomp. Oh, uh, he kind of got smoked. Spark. Yep. Loop combo or easy combo. I probably do a simple. Yeah. Just one rep. Vanish. Slow level three. Into Dragon Rush. Into yes, sir. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed those games. Uh, I think I'm gonna post up few more games from this session and of course like I'm trying to play offline like two or three times a week or so uh, during this so there'll definitely be some more uh, I have again V Sage and Tax because this is uh, this is from Tax Stream right so I have both their information in the description below as usual if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below like and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you next time peace out